Uh, we're back here again in the Oregon Paddle Sports uh, Repair Center. Uh, my name is Chance. And I'm Jared. And today we're going to show you how we would be rigging our whitewater raft for a multi-day river trip. And we're going to be highlighting some really cool Oregon Paddle Sports items that we make right here uh, in the shop. The idea of this video was to give you an idea of how Jared and I would rig a raft to do a three or four night trip for one to three people, um, focusing on you know how everything is put together, how we strap it down, how you know each component works, and why we would recommend it. Um, and we'll show you some cool. Uh, whitewater products as we go along. Um, this is a 14 foot Rocky Mountain drop stitch raft. Uh, these rafts are really great and uh, we use them in our rental fleet. This is in fact one of our uh, boats that we use. Um, and uh, we have a Recrutech frame on it. This is an aluminum frame uh, made by a company out of Corvallis, Oregon that we really like. Um, and uh, this is really similar to the setup that you would get if you uh, rented a package deal from us. Um, and uh, Jared and I are going to take you through it from back to front and show you uh, the components and why we made some of the decisions um, and uh, how it all fits together. All right, guys. So to start with, uh, we're going to look at the Oregon Paddle Sports uh, lifeline we have around the uh, raft here. So this is uh, made out of polypro um, strap material. It is 47 feet long and it'll fit all the way up to a 16 foot boat. Um, and then you're able to cut it down or tie it off um, with any extra you have on a shoulder raft. And your lifeline will be used for if you find yourself uh, out of the boat, whether on purpose or not, um, you can use it to carry, pull yourself back in the boat. You can also use it for um, whether it's this specific river bag or other gear, you can use it to tie um, straps to. It's good and uh, sturdy enough to be able to tie a strap to as well. After that, we have the uh, stirrup, uh, the hand stirrup here, which is made by Whitewater Designs here at uh, Oregon Paddle Sports. Um, this is used for, you can hook on the side of your raft on these D-rings and is great for if you're having to carry your boat. It just um, keeps you from having to bend down quite as far as the handle right there. You can see I don't even have to like uh, bend my knees at all, whereas here I'm having to really bend over to get down to that. So less uh, wear and tear on your back. It also works great if somebody is sitting on the front of the boat and needs this as a handle. All right, the next piece of gear we're going to talk about is going to be uh, the Pacific Rear, uh, River Bag, which is made here at Whitewater Designs. Um, so it is a giant mesh uh, bag right here that has this rope that um, works as kind of a cinch or tie down. It kind of a pulls the uh, mouth of the bag nice and uh, tight and closed for you here so none of your gear can fall out and you can tighten this knot to um, keep that from opening up. Uh, it comes in three different sizes. This is the small bag, which uh, works great for a 14 foot or 12 foot um, raft, depending on how much gear or what all you're putting back here. Um, so the way it works, the way we're, uh, we tie it into the boat is it's going to have uh, multiple points all around the bottom of the, um, the bag. And if the middle section is going to have this D ring with this strap attached and you're going to run it through a D ring. You can potentially run it through this lifeline as well, depending on how many D rings or how much space you have to attach to. And as you can see, um, it's a little congested once we have it all in, but we have these ran um, it, it's one, two, three, four, five different points. So you have one that runs from this corner here all the way out to this D ring. And then we have this one right here. Uh, there's one in the front and then one on this side and one in the corner running um, by the frame as well. Uh, once you have the bag secured down into the boat, um, that's when you can put all of the different uh, gear you have. Um, so we have this uh, mesh duffel bag made by Whitewater Designs as well. It's great for storing um, stuff that you don't mind if it gets a little wet or is kind of out in the elements. So if you've got an extra life vest or if you need um, your handy dandy hand pump, we have the uh, Easy Pump, uh, which is uh, sold here at Oregon Paddle Sports.
And this is great for any just, you know, day use gear that you don't mind if it gets a little wet. We also have this large rucksack, which comes with two straps. So if you need to use it as a backpack, it's great for storing um, gear or putting like a dry, like a, um, a few dry bags inside if you need to, um, or whatever you, whatever you need to store. And these are made right here at uh, Whitewater Designs. All right, we also have our bag for our large um, uh, pump. Um, this is made here at Whitewater Designs. Um, it works great for just storing your uh, pump, keeping it nice and dry. And then we also have this great product that keeps your, uh, your hose nice and tight. Um, this little strap, uh, like this little handle right here, or strap that keeps the hose connected to the pump, um, makes it nice and easy for storage, keeps it from getting flop around or potentially breaking or messing up your hose. And as great as the uh, river bag is here, it is not waterproof. So we want to make sure with like anything that we uh, want to make sure that is 100% dry, um, like our sleeping bag, our tent, those kind of items, clothing. Uh, we just want to have them in a dry bag. We've got this nice uh, big Ortlieb um, duffel. It works great for storing, like I have a camping chair, a sleeping bag, and a tent all in this bag, and I have room for more if I wanted. And it's super simple to close, nice and easy zip on the top, and that's all it is to it. It's got these handles here, work as a backpack or a duffel bag, and fits perfectly down into the uh, mesh river bag. So as you can see, this bag has plenty of space. We could fit a lot more gear in here if we needed to. Um, but if you don't have that much, you just take this rope and you can cinch it up. It has everything nice and secure in there. And then we can just tie this right here to kind of keep it from uh, loosening up on us. And then it has this big um, kind of like a clamshell uh, flap that goes over the top of it. So you can pull this over and it gives you enough room, um, an extra strap here to where like if you kind of had your gear piled up, it can get pretty high and you'll still be able to strap this down. So you just pull this over and attach this back to the D-ring. All right, now all of our gear is stored. It is not going anywhere. This bag is nice and secured, and you could get it a little bit more tight if you needed to. And that'll keep all of that there for you for a nice rowdy trip. All right, so next we're gonna talk about one of my favorite pieces of gear that uh, Whitewater Designs makes. It's gonna be the uh, Rocket Box Sling. Um, and it's great for these uh, ammo cans which are very versatile. Um, these things are 100% uh, airtight, um, waterproof, so you can store just about anything in it, um, anywhere from just like personal items to electronics to uh, this is how um, we'll be storing our uh, toilet system for this trip. Um, like on this, in this um, ammo can specifically, and the way it works is it has these two handles that just clip down super simple. You lift it up and then it comes right off. Um, as you can see, um, for this one, we are storing our toilet seat as well as like our toilet paper and different toiletries. Um, and it makes it great for keeping all of that sealed. You don't have to worry about like any cross contamination. You can, uh, you know, keep it sealed and not have to worry about anything leaking out or any smell coming out of it. And then the Rocket Box Sling, um, this guy right here, they come in multiple, multiple colors as well as um, you can get custom stitching on the side here. Um, this one says our shop Oregon Paddle Sports. Um, and it's great, it has these four straps on uh, the corners here with a, a cam buckle and it allows you to connect it to your frame or to whatever you have in your boat um, and it suspends it off the floor um, and keeps it nice and tight for you and it just slides right in, boom. And then it has these little straps that come over the top with a buckle. And now it is safe and secure. And this thing is not going anywhere. Um, you can raise and lower it. You can tighten these up, kind of bring it up a little bit more if you want, get it off the bottom of the raft. And then you can just tuck this extra strap back into the sling so you don't have to worry about that uh, loosely hanging around.
We have a few of the rocket box slings um, for um, multiple ammo cans for different purposes. So we have this one back here uh, that is with the, uh, by the Pacific River bag. And the reason we um, stuck this one back here is this is gonna be um, our uh, toilet system, which will be like holding the waste. So we wanted to keep that you know, away from the cooler and away from any food or anything like that. Um, and it is in a rocket sling box back here as well. So if you loosen this bad boy up, you can kind of get to it right here. And um, having the rocket box sling back here just allows me to um, secure that ammo can back there and keep it from just having like a, a, a normal cam strap. Having that rocket box sling allows you to set it in there and secure it more safely and know that it's not going anywhere. Another product made right here in shop by Whitewater Designs is this uh, throw bag. Um, this is our reverse taper uh, rescue bag. Um, it's great, as you can see, the uh, bottom side um, is slightly smaller diameter than the top, and it is proven to um, keep the rope from tangling um, as you release it, and it has a quicker release as it's uncoiling from the bag. Um, it also has this nice little buckle right here, which is a nice little handle for if you, um, when you go to throw, um, like when you're uh, hooking it onto something or you go to throw the bag, you have this right here, it makes it nice and easy. I can hold onto my rope right here and I just chuck the bag out and uh, it makes it a lot easier to throw. It was also voted uh, number one rescue um, throw bag by Homeland Security. So make sure you come down to the shop and uh, get yourself one of these guys. Next product we have is really nice. It is the ore tethers. So I have them uh, hooked on to our um, Sawyer Polecat right here. And it's got these nice little buckles for when you're just kind of hanging out here so it doesn't allow it to hang as low. Undo that. I can slide this guy in. Or if it ever comes out, it's gonna keep it, it's gonna keep your ore from going anywhere. It has this nice buckle in the middle for if you ever need to um, get your ore unhooked, if for some reason it's caught on something, you can always do that quick release buckle and it will release um, the ore you have on here. Otherwise, it is very sturdy and uh, durable. Um, you don't have to worry about it coming apart. Um, we've ran some pretty big white water with these things and they are very durable and up to the task in uh, making sure that they don't come off. So the great thing about this Recrotech frame is uh, the dry boxes that you um, are sold separately that um, uh, fit custom to the Recrotech frames. So it has these butterfly latches on the side right here, which easily attach it down to the frame. Don't have to worry about putting any straps or anything like that on it. Um, and then we um, put the foam, we can uh, put the foam on it here ourselves. We're able to custom cut it and, um, and get the, and shave down the edges, make it nice and smooth for you. Um, so in here we have our gamma ray lid with just a bucket that can be used for multiple things. Um, whether you're storing food or potentially using this as a waste bucket, uh, this gamma lid is great because it is airtight. Um, it is smell proof. It's gonna lock in anything that um, you don't want coming out of there, whether it's food or waste. And as you can see this, um, this dry box is very deep, like this is, you know, standard bucket size. I can sit it in there upright and with the uh, lid, um, this part right here gives you a little extra space and allows me to put that on there and not have to worry about uh, the bucket not fitting in there. Um, we've got our small pop-up fire pan, which is uh, really important in case you're in a um, no burn zone. Um, and it just, it helps prevent um, any type of like wildfire or sparks um, from you know leaving uh, the um, campfire. Um, and yeah, it's just a really great addition to have while you're on the river. And having this dry box allows me just to toss it in here and keep it nice and dry. I don't have to worry about it. So a couple other things you wanna make sure you have is some type of first aid kit um, that is very essential while you're on the water. Uh, a, lot of a lot of times you're in very remote places where it could take hours, if not days, to get the proper uh, care that you need. Um, so being able to provide uh, basic first aid is, uh, is very essential in, in situations like that. So make sure you come prepared. Um, and then you also want to make sure that you have some type of way to cook your food, whether you have, um, you know, just your standard Coleman uh, burner. There's quite a few different stoves out there on the market that are great for uh, multi-day trips. Um, yeah, and this is really essential. And this dry box, as you can see, has plenty of space. Also, this uh, big um, stove in here, as well as we have the 
bucket with a gamma ray lid. We have a fire pan in there. I've got our first aid as well as room for more stuff if we really wanted. And then very simple to um, secure this, just two little butterfly hatches on the front. And now that is uh, secured down and you don't have to worry about any water uh, leaking into there. Um, our next piece of gear made by Whitewater Designs is gonna be our small um, compartment cooler. So this thing is really nice. It is shaped and formed as you can on the bottom here to fit to the like curvature of the tube on your raft. So it makes it nice and easy to just attach with these um, straps right here onto the frame. Um, this one is insulated, so it is great for like a little personal day cooler. That way you're not having to constantly get into your big cooler and, um, and let your ice uh, melt and uh, your cooler warm up. So you can throw some ice in here. It's got a small little hole on the bottom, which has this uh, nice grommet for if you want to use it for, as like a tie down, as well as allowing water to leak out of there. Um, and you can store, you know, quite, quite a few um, you know, Cokes or uh, cold ones in there, whatever uh, fits your fancy. And it's got this nice zipper on the front, keeps it all secure. This bag um, comes in um, a larger size as well. And uh, we also offer it in a um, non-insulated version as well for uh, more like um, dry goods or just like personal items that you wanna have handy on your boat, um, but don't necessarily need it insulated. All right, so moving on from the uh, compartment cooler, we have um, our Canyon cooler right here. Uh, this is secured in with our um, cooler sling made by Whitewater Design. Um, and this canyon cooler is great. It fits, there's, they have multiple sizes that'll fit into the uh, compartment right here. Uh, they also make their uh, 103 outfitter with a ridge on the cooler, which actually will um, fit perfectly into this um, full compartment size right here if you wanted to go with a larger cooler. For this setup today, uh, we decided to go with a smaller cooler using the cooler sling and then allowing ourselves for an extra ammo can in that same compartment. All right, so uh, with the Canyon Cooler, the way we're keeping um, the top secured down is we have these uh, Oregon Paddle Sports loop straps. So they're really nice. Um, they come undone. Each end right here, it just has a nice loop. You just loop it through and it allows you to attach to this end. Um, so you can undo them without having to worry about your straps really going anywhere. It makes it easy to get into your cooler or to take out. So the nice thing about the Canyon Coolers as well, I'll show you real quick is when you go to strap them down to be able to secure it to the boat, they have built in these little um, indentions right here with a, a, um, a little slot. So you can take, um, like for instance, I did on the other side, I just took a two foot strap. You can run it through this little slot and it allows you to attach it to whatever you need to. And then it allows for the lid to close and um, completely and um, get secured. Um, without allowing uh, like any air or anything to uh, escape and allows you to put your strap right there. So the way our uh, cooler sling works, um, it's a very simple setup. It has four different um, points that it attaches from. So we just have it attached to each end of this uh, bay right here. Um, it comes with these metal little uh, buckles to allow it to easily loosen and tighten. Um, and then you just wanna make sure that you have it suspended up off the floor in kind of each end even, so that way the cooler doesn't lean one way or the other. Um, and then the idea is with these four corners, when you have the cooler laid down, it kind of uh, pulls the tension and, um, and suspends the cooler up off the floor and um, gives it a secure and a stable place to keep it from uh, like swinging around too much um, or bouncing up and down off the bottom of the raft. And a good way to help keep your ice and everything in your cooler nice and uh, cool is gonna be this Whitewater Designs um, cooler liner. It's great, um, it is insulated and it has these nice mesh pockets on the front so you can store stuff inside the cooler without having to worry about it getting wet. Um, and we make a few different sizes. This is our small. As you can see, this fits really great into this 75 liter cooler right here. Um, basically encompasses uh, the entire area once you open it up. Um, but we have them to fit uh, much larger coolers as well and um, help keep all your stuff nice and cool for the duration of your trip. We also have these two flip lines attached to the raft right here. These are made by Whitewater Designs. Um, it's just 10 feet of poly rope 
inside this little bag. And these are great for flipping back over a lighter raft in case um, it capsizes and uh, yourself and maybe a buddy in the raft, um, you can get on top and use these to flip it back over. Um, with a heavier boat like this one, you're probably gonna use a wrap kit, which will include uh, some type of mechanical advantage uh, to set up a Z-drag. All right, so when you're on the river, you wanna make sure that you have a spare oar with you, whether it's a uh, you know breakdown oar. In this instance, we just have a nice uh, cataract counterbalance. Um, and the way we're gonna be storing it, there's a few different ways you can do it, but the way we have it today is with the Whitewater Designs elastic uh, buckle strap right here. So this has a little Velcro that wraps around the frame, and then you use this nice easy buckle To, and it's easy to release if you need to get to your oar. And then at the bottom end, uh, we have our uh, Whitewater Designs blade holder. There's a few different options that we um, have in store that you can use to hold the blade. But this one is just a nice loop strap right here. And it makes it easy for when you undo the elastic buckle to be able to slide out your oar and get it into your oar lock very quickly and uh, get back, um, back on track. And another great addition you can add to your uh, multi-day experience is this little blade rest right here uh, made by Air. And uh, we sell them here at Oregon Paddle Sports. And they just clip onto your lifeline right here. And you set your, uh, your oar down into it. And it keeps your blade up for you, you know, if you need to uh, ship an oar or if you're in a calmer section and you don't want your oars floating around in the water. Makes it nice and easy and super simple just to get it out and back in the water. So my next uh, essential piece of gear uh, when you're out on the water for uh, mo more than one day is going to be the, um, a landing pad. Uh, this is the air landing pad. Um, it's great. It's got a uh, foam inside of it and it's self-inflating, 100% waterproof, made out of a very durable vinyl material. Um, the ends have an extra layer um, to help support uh, to make sure that those don't come apart. Um, so it's really nice out on the water. It dries really quickly, easy to set up and uh, easy to whether, you know, you're setting up for camp, sleeping on, or as we have it right now on the boat, it's easy to sit on, makes a nice uh, bench for, um, for your guests. Um, especially with this one, we don't have another dry box. So we put our uh, rafting table underneath um, this and to give it a little cushion, we just put the, uh, the landing pad on top. So the way we had it strapped down is we have the two Oregon paddle sports straps going over top to give it a little extra support. And then on the ends, I had uh, more um, Oregon paddle sports straps just to keep it from uh, coming loose. You definitely don't want this floating down the river. So make sure you have it nice and secure. And there's uh, plenty of spots. These uh, grommets right here make it easy to put straps in. You don't have to worry about it uh, tearing through the material. All right, so now that we got this undone, we'll take it off and I'll show you what we have underneath. So this right here is a Recortec um, metal uh, camp table. Um, it's great, it is aluminum, so it's nice and lightweight. And it has multiple slots for tying, um, whether you're you know, tying it, rigging it to your raft. Um, there's multiple points to put different straps on here to make sure it's secure. Uh, with just the four straps, you can see this thing is locked in. It moves the whole boat with it, it's not going anywhere. And this works great with just a simple one foot strap. All right, so now that we have the table unstrapped, we'll show you what's underneath here. Um, so as you can see, it's a pretty simple setup. It's got this strap right here in the middle that if we undo this one, this is what allows our legs to swing out. Um, and then it has these uh, loop strap with the cam buckle connected so you can adjust the, um, the different um, like angle you want your legs at and makes it super easy to set up and then put back away. Just swing that back in. And we can put this strap back on. All right, so we got the uh, table set up here. Just wanted to show you what it looks like. Uh, we also put one of our uh, Whitewater Designs um, dish organizers slash dryers here. So once you know you're done for the day, you've washed all your dishes, uh, it has multiple compartments here, whether it's utensils um, or dishes, uh, you throw it all in here and let it just air dry. And it makes it nice and easy. You don't have to worry about uh, taking up table space or getting things wet. All right, so underneath the table, we have our uh, mesh drop box. Um, it has a zipper top, so it makes it easy to get in and out of. You don't have to worry about items coming loose at all. And it opens up very wide, easy to get items in and out of. Um, 
big enough to store this uh, dry box right here. It's great whether you're putting food in it, cookware, uh, kitchen um, supplies, utensil. Um, it is great for just about anything you need to keep dry. Um, and there's plenty of more room in here. So this fits in here. We also, on the other side, we have quite a few more items. So it has another uh, zipper on this side so you can open up from both sides. We have our whitewater uh, collapsible wa uh, water bucket. Um, this is great for if you have to set up a, uh, a dish pit for uh, cleaning dishes um, or you know, whatever uh, you might need um, a bucket of water for. This thing is going to take care of that and you can collapse it down and it stores very small and then it just re-pops up and just as good, just as new. Next we have our um, strap bag. So this thing is great, made by Whitewater Designs, 100% uh, mesh, so it's gonna dry very quickly if it gets wet. Has a zipper that goes all the way around the top here, opens up and allows you to drop it down. As you can see, the different um, strap holders are all color coded so you can um, differentiate you know what uh, size strap you have by the colors makes it nice and easy and you can put quite a few more straps in here and we have a larger size as well so our mesh drop box uh, the way we secure it to the frame is pretty simple it has these closures right here um, that go all around you have multiple points to connect to so you just want to make sure that you get all of these Super simple. You just take it. It's got the little closure right here. You just wrap it around the frame. You run it through the bottom of the buckle. And then back through the top of it. And voila, that is now nice and secure. And just make sure that you tie on all of the straps and closures around the frame for the most, uh, to make sure it is as secure as possible. All right, so we also have this uh, great Whitewater Designs product um, is made right here in our shop is this foot cup. Uh, we make them in hypalon as well as vinyl, and we have a multitude of different colors. So whatever uh, color is your boat, we can sure match it. Um, and where you might place them is just right here in the front somewhere for if you had a passenger or two, that makes it easy, gives them a spot to lock their feet in, and that way no one comes out of the boat. Uh, we also have this blue toe strap which is great for if you have a trailer and you have a winch and you're uh, pulling your boat up onto that trailer. Um, it attaches at on the side here on the D-ring on both sides. And then as well as with this uh, um, cam buckle strap right here in the front. And then you have this D-ring to um, attach to the winch to be able to pull your uh, raft up on the trailer. And then we also have the bow line on the front, this is great when you're out on the water and you pull off and you need something to tie your boat off to, or if you have to line your boat through a rapid of any sort, um, having a bow line is great and is having it in the front right here makes it easy and convenient to use and separate uh, from your throw rope. Uh, you want to make sure you have a throw rope that is separate than your bow line. All right, and last but definitely not least is going to be making sure your frame is rigged to your boat. Uh, this will be one of the first things that you do. Um, so before you put all your gear on it, you're going to make sure that you have your boat tied off. Uh, this raft has um, four D-rings on each side. Some rafts will have another D-ring in the middle. So if you want to um, add another uh, spot to tie off in the middle, you can do three on each side. For this frame, we have two on each side, and that's more than enough to secure the uh, frame to the boat, and it's not going anywhere. Um, so. You just want like a two to three foot strap and these cam buckles work great. They're more than, uh, than strong enough to support this. And I like to put a, um, a loop in my strap around the frame. It helps just kind of grip it and keep it from sliding up and down or uh, this like sliding um, uh, this way as well. So if you put that little loop in it, it call it a, a friction knot. Um, all right, so when we're putting our strap onto the frame, we just want like a two to three foot uh, cam buckle strap. And we want to make sure that we put a loop through it right here on the frame. It helps keep it from pulling or sliding up and down once you uh, go to tighten it. And just make sure you do that on all four corners and your frame will be secured to the boat.
that's the rundown on our wrap setup that we have right here. Um, this is just one example of many, um, and the coolest part about these is that you get to customize exactly what you need. Um, this is good for one rower and up to two passengers, but you may want to focus more on you know people versus gear. Um, and you know there are a million different uh, combinations of length and width of boat. Um, so it's a really kind of a, a custom fit kind of a solution. Um, and uh, any reputable you know rafting center will be able to get you hooked up with something like this, um, including us. Um, and we can customize, you know, whether it's fitting your raft, a raft that we sell, uh, and you know, depending on the kind of water that you want to go on, what you want to carry, uh, we can take all of that into account and kind of create a custom solution for you. Uh, the idea was to be able to show you how one would rig a raft um, and then how uh, some of the cool items that we make and sell uh, would go on it and how they might all work together. Um, <clears throat> This raft uh, is perfectly sized for this frame. Um, you want the center of the frame to sit in the center of the rub strip, um, and then you want it to go to the very um, end of the flat section of the tubes is how you would measure that if someone was going to custom make a frame for you. Um, and we actually had this uh, frame custom made um, from Record Tech um, and has worked really, really well in rental service this year and we really like it. Uh, we sell raft trailers and raft covers, uh, so you can rig the raft at the com in the comfort of your own home um, and you don't have to do it all at the water um, and then you can just put it onto the frame, or I'm sorry, onto the trailer. The trailer has like a, a roller bar on the back so you can roll it up and use, and use the toe strap if you have a winch. Um, and then we make some cool covers that can go over the whole thing while you transport it. Um, so, you know, there are a million little tips and tricks and things and different products that can help you kind of get out on the water easier and, and enjoy it more. Um, but remember that uh, rafting isn't inherently dangerous and, you know, you need some experience before getting into this. So it's always good to get with a local guide or an experienced friend or family member in order to learn more about this awesome sport. Uh, please always wear a PFD whenever you're near the water um, and we can help you with this or uh, just about anything with rafting um, in the future here at Oregon Paddle Sports or at OregonPaddleSports.com. Uh, like and subscribe for more content in the future.